What is up guys? I'm here to, well, not talk about Corona. Um, but yeah, first of all, how are you doing? Um, what's going on in your lives? Apart from that, the good stuff, the everything in between. Um, hope you're all doing all right. <laughs> Trying to, um, considering the state of the world at the moment. And I've been making videos regardless. We're all carrying on as normal what we're trying to. Don't panic, buy toilet paper because Coronavirus does not give you diarrhea, so you don't have to worry there. And if you've got vodka and aloe vera, you can make your own hand bacteria sanitizer, whatever you call it. <laughs> Can't believe that's an actual thing. A bottle of vodka, aloe vera, you can make hand sanitizer. Who would have thought? Well, as long as it's got alcohol in it, it's fine. So just drink and you're fine. Um, but recently I've heard that there's this new like disinfectant they're using on all the tubes and trains in England to that will last a month, like will clear that surface for a month, so that no corona can settle on it, basically. <laughs> and I got a little joke on Twitter that I found. So this guy's talking about like it is like all made up obviously. So my wife and I get coronavirus, we go to Disneyland <laughs> and ride California screaming. Um, the park finds out and quarantines us on the coaster and we endlessly ride. We have kids and grow up on the roller coaster. Um, it's all they know. The coaster is our home. Now, life is beautiful. <laughs> when they grow up on a roller coaster, yeah. It's that kind of thing. You literally will get quarantined um, if you've been to Italy now, uh, coming here. And I've got a friend who did. Annoyingly, I'll tell you all about that. Um, I'm not ill, but I'm trying to avoid getting there because I'm someone that's very at risk from this uh, friggin' coronavirus that can actually piss off, I'm actually fed up. But what can I say, I'm not in Italy in, on lockdown. Um, I'm kind of locking myself down in some ways, only going out if I need to. I'm a YouTuber, I can still make videos from home. Um, but people think, you know, this is gonna go by the summer, but no, it might be something we have to live with in the future and there'll just be a, a vaccine, hopefully. Well, don't get your hopes up, because it's no time soon. I don't expect that to solve it, because it's actually worse than normal flu. D no matter what you've heard, I was watching the uh, Joe Rogan podcast with an expert on uh, viruses and diseases and things like this, and he was saying that it's worse. And you can be a carrier and not have it and then pass it on to someone else and they'll get it a lot worse. So you never know. Just be careful guys, be safe out there. Listen, I've suffered because I'm supposed to play football the last two weekends, I haven't. This weekend I should be going up to Nottingham, but I don't want to risk it. And I've spoken to friends at other teams, one of them he's not risking it either. I don't blame him because if any of us get ill, or anyone around us that helps us in our lives, then that's it. It's like a difficult situation. And yeah, Twitter has a lot of gossip about this. Different angles, but you know, just watch the news, but don't overwatch. <laughs> oh no, I coughed. Oh dear, it's the end of the world. But yeah, football matches in Italy and stuff, and Spain, they're being uh, like, having no fans allowed. Uh, the matches are going on with no fans. It's, it's what needs to be done, and we need to work together. Really, it can't just be some people. Like if everyone helps or considers the consequences of people less healthy than them or at risk, you got to think about that. It's like, yeah, maybe you could survive it, but the old person next to you on the bus, he can't. 
Well, she can't. How do you know? You can't speak for a virus. You know, it's think of it like think of it like a Champions League final. You know, you cannot underestimate your opponent. Um, the game's gonna be ninety minutes, but it might go on to one twenty and to penalties, and you know, score one goal. You might not know, be secure of that victory. You know, so we've got to carry on, like being careful. You know. Don't want to end up on lockdown, but if we do, just try and deal with it somehow, like they're doing in Italy. Um, my friend was lucky enough to have come back the day before the lockdown, because she was in Italy for a few days. Um, a risk that <laughs> a lot of people wouldn't have taken. South of Italy, bear in mind, where there's no, not as many cases. Now there's a few, but bear that in mind. Um, yeah, so she came back. And they told her to self-quarantine here, um, obviously, because coming from Italy, which, yeah, maybe that part's not a red zone, but Italy is on lockdown, so they're being careful. And, yeah, one of my cousins as well, uh, who's li living in Germany, she came back to Italy for a week, went back today, and her flight was the only flight out of Napoli airport going to Germany, obviously. It was the only flight. How weird is that? But it's serious, guys. It's not a laughing matter. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to talk about this on the channel at all. But it's getting to that stage where it's just everywhere. It's unavoidable when it's affecting me. Because two weeks ago, I had a regional tournament. I couldn't go because um, it's freaking coronavirus. At the time, it wasn't as bad. There was one case in Hertfordshire. Just one case, you know, not too bad, but, um, and maybe at the time I felt I was exaggerating, but I'm certainly not now, if I don't go this weekend, and I'm seriously thinking about not going, I don't want to let my teammates down, but what am I going to do, get it, and then suffer, just because I went and played football, oh well, you know, it's really, it's actually getting to me, like, why are people having a go at me, like, come on, I was two weeks ago, and then, I mean, now, maybe they wouldn't, have the same discussion, or make me feel that way. Maybe, maybe they don't mean it, yeah, it's fine, but like, come on guys, we're not all gonna risk ourselves. Um, and yeah, fine, it's a conspiracy, but just because it's a conspiracy, doesn't mean it's not real. Yeah, maybe it is a conspiracy to off half the world, because there is too many of us. I mean, look at the, how the, the, half the Antarctica's gone, half the North Pole, or whatever it is. I should know what more about that, but yeah, North Pole, South Pole, whatever. Um, but one of them, one of the poles, um, yeah, all, all the ice is melting basically. Ah, oh, sea levels are rising. That's more of a dangerous issue than Corona because that's not going to go away. The sea levels rising, and yeah, we're doing a lot to harm the world. And maybe someone's invented this just to off half the world, and that sounds harsh. But it is definitely some sort of conspiracy, as well as China being dirty and them eating weird animals. But don't hold it to every Chinese person. They're not all responsible. Like, not every North Korean person is, is, is their president, you know. If I could get his name right, I would. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? So you can't blame all of them. And the cases in China are going down. And yeah, you may think, okay, that's fine then. So we just fight this weather the storm here, get through it and we'll be fine. But it's the economy that's going to suffer um, big time in the coming months. And it's still like contingencies and plan Bs because maybe people knew about this. Bill Gates predicted it. There's a book that predicted it, two books. Um, but still, here we are. Um, we just got to get through it together, you know. Don't just think you're alone and you're the only one self-quarantining if you're self-quarantining. Or missing work or, or school or whatever. Um, it's just too much on Twitter here. Way too much. And yeah, they're trying to, you know, it's a pandemic now. Apparently, the World Health Organization declares it a pan it, the outbreak to be a pandemic. Okay, that's believable. But yeah, they're trying to get retired GPs back to help with, not old, like, but like, 
recently retired GPs back serving to help like with the load of people that are getting it. And the NHS is effed already. It's messed up as it is. This is only going to make things worse. Um, I mean, we spent ten, however many years talking about Brexit, not actually fixing the NHS or putting more money into it. So it's really going to struggle with this. If we thought it was bad before that. And people are panicking, don't panic. You don't need to buy that much toilet roll because you won't get diarrhea, I can assure you. It's nothing to do with that. And yeah, people are just misinformed. But they say you can make you can make your own antibacterial gel. So just go and do that then. Just think about every, think about things before you do them. And how worth it these masks are, I don't know. Because once you wear it, once it's got to throw it away. Um, and how many masks are you going to have? In the north of Italy, there's none left. In the north of Italy, and they've got a lockdown. So even, you know, want to go out in an emergency, you're risking it. <laughs> Especially in the north. I've got family all over Italy, and this is like... I, I, I don't know how to go about, like, talking to them, because are they miserable, you know? Probably, yeah, in a lot of cases, yeah. But do they know enough about it? That's what I'm worried about. Don't get misinformed. Simple. I mean, it's easily done with the fake news out there. And Trump's acting like nothing's going on, really, to keep the people calm. Boris is kind of kind of doing the same. But remember that, is it the health secretary or someone uh, in England? They're, they've got it. And they met Boris a few weeks back shook his hand, and he's in Parliament today, you know what I mean? So he could be spreading it. Idiot. Um, there you go. People aren't, people aren't thinking. Just consider it. I mean, don't... It's actually stressing me out too much. I, I would admit that. Um, but I'm still making YouTube videos, trying to help you guys forget, even if I can't. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't watch the news, really, but... Now I am a bit here and there, each, each, each day at some point, or through YouTube, like a little clip here and there, just to know what's going on, the, the count of people, but don't watch too much of it. And it, I mean, that's the thing, the more we lock ourselves in, the more we're just going to be seeing all this panic on the news. And like, I, I went for a standard blood test on Monday in, in a local hospital and it's fine. There's no panic. There's no nurses in masks or anything. It's just calm. Um, you know, everyone's normal. Like, what's the panic? I didn't see this panic. Obviously, it's not a hospital where they're dealing with it, maybe, in this area yet. But there has been some local cases up the road. Um, so just be careful. And, yeah, like I said, I'm supposed to go to Nottingham, but I'm, I'm just going to find the best way to go about telling my team that I'm not going. Because if they are going, they'll be like, why aren't you coming? And I don't want to let my teammates down. And I'm going to have to because I care about my own health at this point. Because it's not a matter of, oh, selfish or not. I don't want to get it. And I don't know how I can get through life if I get it. Or like, survive it, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is life or death here. You know what I mean? The average person, even they can't, they haven't got a good chance, necessarily. Even a healthy person, uh, below the old age or that hasn't got any underlying issues. But, like, uh, do I need to make that argument to them? People who know me and know the condition um, in my team? No. I shouldn't have to. And I, I did the other week, and Sunday, yeah, I won at training last week, and the joke was that I was... I was exaggerating, I had a bit, a bit under the weather, yeah, uh, even today, like, but I'm not ill, like, but if I've got something, if I've got a cold, it's on the way, yeah, fine. It's not corona, don't worry, but, you know what I'm saying, I don't want to spread that. And the ruling is, by the WFA, this is the Royal Football Association, um, that on the weekend in Nottingham, you know, don't shake hands, don't touch anyone, um, just be very careful and... If you have got any sort of sore throat or cold symptoms, don't come. I'm one of them. Even if I was fit, I wouldn't go. And it, it, it's a risk, you know, that, that's it. Uh, there's no argument to be had, really. 
I can't make make it any clearer than that uh, to them. I, I just want to find a way of telling them not to go because if one if someone God forbid you know then we can't train. None of us can train together, obviously. And if some out of all the people, if someone just walks into the uni, it's a uni. Someone's going to walk through because there's a gym there. There's a lot of people going to the gym. So someone could walk through, you know. And, yeah, people don't want to say it. I'll just think, well, if I get it. People, people, like, they're treating the word like Voldemort, like, you can't say coronavirus. Corona. You know, death by association. That kind of thing. Like, get over it. Nobody's drinking Corona. Because of the association. There you go, you know. And it's not even, nothing to do with that. But some stupid Americans think that. Not, not saying all of you, but some of you um, think that it's actually connected. Well, it's, I think it's just a word association. But there's got to be some idiot who for that. Like, the sales are going down. <laughs> the world has gone mad. And, yeah, I don't really want to go into, like, corona jokes on, on my channel, like, on the Reddit, on things like that, but they, they come up. And you've got, if you can't laugh about life, what are you doing? I just thought my camera died, but it didn't. It looked like it was about to. It just froze. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're good. Um, but no, it's, it's hard to get your head around it. Like, is it going to get worse? Is it not? Is it going to stay the same? How far is it going to spread? How long is it going to last? Like, God forbid it ruined my summer. Like, don't be ruining my summer. You can ruin my winter, I don't care. I don't care. I just sit here and make videos. But don't be taking away my football for more than a month or two. You know, just go away. If, I could talk, if you could talk to a virus directly. Just piss off. Like, take your shit elsewhere. Like, we don't need it now. The timing is just the worst. Like it's ruining all the football events coming up in the summer, the Euros and all this. It it's gonna be around for a while and over the summer maybe come back next winter. Hopefully not, but if it's on a lower scale then fine. That they, they, they can enable us to go out and if it's not in certain areas that I go to, like Nottingham, which I'm certainly not doing because we go to a students union and you can get a virus or an infection there on a good day, let alone with this virus. And there's people that I want to meet up with in Nottingham over the weekend, my teammates, you know. But like I said, I can't. Like, call, they can call me what they want. Call me a coward. Well, I'm not a coward because I'm being wise here. Like, preservation of life kind of situation. And it sounds drastic, but it's not. It's what we're dealing with here, guys. And I didn't want to make this podcast, like I said, but it's how it's getting to me personally and friends and family around me that like I've told you. And uh, I don't know, guys, just take it seriously, but don't panic. Understand it. Like, don't get misinformed. Be careful on public transport. Be careful on the streets. <laughs> like, if you're out in the open, it's not so bad. Like, say you're walking your dog in the park. You're probably fine. Unless you brush up against someone. <laughs> you know. Crowded areas is what you've got to avoid. It says that yet. The WFA are going ahead with a weekend. And maybe that will change in the next two days. Hopefully. Because they're thinking like okay. Normal football events are going on. But hold on guys. The Nottingham Forest um, owner's got it. And he met. Because he's the owner of Olympiacos too. He met with all the Arsenal players didn't he. When they played against them. He was there at the Emirates when, it, when Arsenal lost to Olympiacos. The guy was there, the owner of Olympiacos, who now has coronavirus. So anyone that came in contact with him, with him including the team, and the teams that Arsenal played since then, as in West Ham, they're in trouble, like, they're potentially people who, who have it. So Arsenal's game will be behind closed doors as a result. And I think they're playing City or someone, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. And yeah, that'll be behind closed doors as well as a result of this owner getting it 
So it can spread so easily to a lot of people too. And if anyone is self-quarantined, then good luck to you. Um, I seem to cope well with being indoors. I've been indoors since Monday, so... Well, yeah, since Monday. And that's not, like, not drastic as of yet. But yeah, I'm not going out other than... Um, what I'm saying is that I'm lucky to have a family around me that can bring me food. Some of my teammates aren't lucky enough to have that. Maybe they live away from home, they have living carers, all this. Um, and it's a risk for them. And they're worried for them. Because how are they going to get food and stuff if, the peop if there's a lockdown? Like, what's going to happen then? And it's kind of inevitable. But, like, don't panic. That's what I'm saying. And there's a guy that said a lot of us will have had it and survived it at some point. Well, see what I mean? I'm misinformed because one person says that and then the other person says, oh, you know, it's not that bad. And then you hear that it's actually worse than flu and then someone says it's not worse. It is worse because the way it spreads and because you cannot have the symptoms and then pass it on and it can double quite quickly from there. Um, but, you know, just don't take in too different too many different opinions on it. Keep it like basic with the news. Don't overdo it. I'm uh, on Twitter and it's just like anything about Corona just pops up. Like half of this is all Corona. Or Bernie Sanders. <laughs> anything. Coronavirus affecting business, blah blah blah. Trump, something else. It is all coronavirus. People go, oh, I'm not touching my face. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> wash your face. Be clean, you know, if you wash your hands and then touch your face, it's different. But, I mean, these facial masks, whether they help, I don't maybe they do help. They do stop the air getting in, but... And things like scarves don't work. So, just remember that. Twitter, man. Never really used Twitter that much. I've been so bored that I've had to. I don't know. It's not like I'm actually on lockdown, but if it does happen, I'm ready. Is everyone else around me ready? I don't know. It <laughs> uh, my parents have their own business. If they have to close it, that would be bad. Bad news. <laughs> my brother's job that he goes around all around the UK, he said to them, don't send me to any hospitals or anywhere with a lot of people because... I don't want to bring nothing home to my brother, you know. And they know the situation. And I don't know how careful his business are. Well, they are quite careful anyway, because the nature of the job they do in and out of different places. Um, when it comes to like security and stuff, like uh, alarm systems and all that, that's basically what they do. They check all that, in, like cinemas and places like that, hospitals, schools things like that, so he's got to be careful. Um, and the lockdown might change the, the way we, we live and the way people in my household work and their daily lives and stuff. Just be all stuck at home fighting. Like, four Italians stuck in a house for one day is bad enough. On a Sunday, we always come to blow. No, we don't come to blows, but literally, it comes to <laughs> close to that level where we just all want to kill each other. And that's being Italian. Uh, and then, but then we miss each other when we're far away. Like with my family and all that. Like, when we're all together, we, we're about to fight. But when we're apart, it's different. <laughs> However far around the world we are, about to fight. <laughs> um, but then, I don't know. Like sometimes when you don't spend a lot of time with someone and then you've got a few days, you just appreciate the time you've got. And you don't, you try and avoid arguments. That's what I try and do when I have cousins come over sometimes. Well, no, actually, it's not me, but, like, in general, I'm saying, you know, you think, oh, let me just go along for these days. I, I, I'm not saying I, I argue, but most Italians do at some point. <laughs> so if we're seeing someone for a, a few days and then they're going back, I want to make, it the most, make, the most, make the most of the time we've got together, you know, and then argue later, you know. But then when you've got family that are always around you, you're bound to argue a lot more. Like me and my brother, because we live in the same house. 
we're at each other's throats, literally. And I read a thing on Twitter about someone's brother who, in their own house, he got his own separate Wi-Fi router so he could play PlayStation in his room without being disturbed by anyone else on the other Wi-Fi. How selfish is that? Like, And you're paying for your own Wi-Fi, even though everyone else uses the house Wi-Fi. Got your own separate one. Like, why are you doing that? It's selfish. <laughs> but I could believe my brother doing that. I could believe. And, and I've come close to doing that myself. But why would... I mean, you, you would do that. I mean, here, if everyone's on the Wi-Fi, it's a nightmare. And being the teller would be shouting from upstairs to downstairs. Like, who's on the Wi-Fi? Get off the Wi-Fi. And just become a brawl after that. Um, and then either we're all in the same room watching something or we're all in each room <laughs> in separate rooms like well, my my dad's in, in the upstairs room brother's in his room I'm in my room mum's in the lounge or vice versa or in the kitchen and then we're all separate watching different stuff N between Netflix and Sky and YouTube and Amazon Prime <laughs> and both Netflix accounts well I'm paying for the Netflix in this house but we've got we split it between my dad and me. Like he's got his his uh, like profile and I've got my profile, which were a bit different, obviously. Um, because we've got different tastes. Well, we've got similar tastes. But he likes a lot of documentary and stuff, like about the Romans. He like he goes on about the Romans, bloody Romans. <laughs> Always. Why not? They were great. They were like. They had half the world, basically. Most of Europe. They conquered a lot, but... That's a discussion for another video. Um, and I've been back to... To these type of reaction, like... Um, TikTok, try not to laugh videos. That I haven't done for a few months or years. Can't even remember the last time. But I'm trying to get that back into the habit. And I've kind of forgotten about... Gaming for a while. <laughs> I'm still gaming, but like not necessarily live streaming or making videos. I want to get back to Call of Duty. I've got the time now. If we do go on lockdown, that is coming out of the box. Once again, for sure. I've been addicted to my career mode on FIFA for some reason. Well, I, ha well, I was. I haven't been recently because I've been editing so much this week. But yeah, changing it up and getting more views. Especially with the PewDiePie one, about him cutting his hair. Maybe just because he's in the title, he's in the thumbnail, I mean, or what, and just people want to watch it. But thanks for the views on that. Keep watching, I've got more videos to come. This is probably a shorter than average podcast, which I'm probably going to end soon when I forget what I was going to say or run out of ideas, basically. Just so see where the conversation goes. Sometimes I plan them out. Sometimes I don't. This is one of those that I haven't planned out. Just doing it like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know what, to, what else to say about this corona. I'm fed up of talking about it. I'm going to keep it away from this podcast. If I can, and this is something else that happens to me, you'll hear it here first. But yeah, that's, that's about it, I would say. This camera keeps dying on me every five minutes. I think I might need a new camera, guys, because... These batteries are just dying one after another. Like, I'm charging them up and they're still dying. Like, in not, not very long at all. But yeah, for now that is it. I'll try and do another gaming video or some sort of weekly live stream again that was good with GTA. But I might do it with Need for Speed or with Call of Duty. <laughs> Who knows? I need a haircut. That is the main thing about it. Like, do I take that risk? The amount of old people in mum and dad's shop no offence, uh, there's a lot of older people and they're at risk, I don't want to put them at risk and I don't want them putting me at risk I mean or anyone else that goes in the shop the younger people you know or kids even that can carry it so you've got to be careful and I, I wouldn't know if my parents had it because they wouldn't know necessarily and then, then what we're going to do so the sooner the lockdown happens in some cases the better but not really you don't want to be on the stage where it's in lockdown because that will mean a lot of people have it and there's a higher risk um, but once you are in lockdown you know that 
two weeks time it will diminish the level like the level of people having it will go down but my fear is that a lockdown ends and it goes up again like and it comes back like in Italy that could happen two week lockdown whether that's going to be true I don't know we'll see and we'll see if any other countries do and we just have to take like take their advice basically if need be or swap self quarantine but what's to say you don't I don't know if you can get it again that's what you need to research guys and I'm going to do that too like if once you've had it can you get it again probably not if I think about normal flu but this is different don't think it's anything like normal flu but thank you guys and I'm going to see you real soon stay up stay humble stay positive um and don't watch too much news. Keep calm, like whatever you do. Do not panic. And don't panic by toilet paper. We need it, but it's not a panic at the moment. And toilet paper, come on. You know, chill out. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me once again. It's been a shorter podcast than usual. But I'm going to love you and leave you for now. Peace. I'm out here. If I actually press the button to turn it off, that might have worked. <laughs>